Welcome to our semester project presentation for the 2020 Traffic Modeling Simulation and Control course. I am Ben Sapolotas. And I am Laszlo Szyke. The topic of our presentation is autonomous car control on a highway with OpenAI gym interface. We will introduce our project course, then we will introduce the interface used for the simulation. Third, the continuous model will be shortly presented, followed by a quick example. Lastly, we will mention a few future improvements, possibilities for our project. The semester project contained the following key points. Python and Sumo trusty-based virtual environment representation of a highway scenario developed in an OpenAI gym compatible interface. Then, creating an environment which will have an eco vehicle that will be controlled by a Python script and interact with the Sumo-based highway simulations. Furthermore, the implementation of a class that will be a continuous vehicle model. This model would run simultaneously with the Sumo simulation and it would convert the Sumo state into the latent model of the environment representation. With this method, it is feasible to control our eco vehicle with a continuous speed and steering angle. For the project, we need the simulator to create the environment. The so called Sumo Simulation of Urban Mobility is a free open source program designed for microscopic traffic simulation. The main purpose of the software is to simulate traffic on different roads with different road users and traffic control scenarios. It is portable, scalable and supports all kinds of road systems with enormous networks and a vast number of connections. Thanks to the modularity of the program, its components can be easily modified and tailored to our own needs and use cases. There are several extensions to Sumo and the most important for us is the Trussy module which provides an opportunity for connecting to the simulation started from the command line to modify and control the happenings of the simulation on the fly. The extension of the Tracy module for our purposes was developed having functions that request the states of the different road users, edit the properties of others and control the whole highway scenario. With the help of the Python extension code, it is possible to insert the eco vehicle into the running simulation, control it based on the given input. Moreover, it is important to note that in the parameterization of sumo cars and other road users, the opportunity is given for randomizing the properties of them. Given this, defined parameters will be random based on the pre-stated probability distribution, making all the simulations somewhat different. Considering all described attributes of the Sumo, an environment was implemented which was an open AI gym-like structure. It contains the basic functions of a gym environment, helping the easier integration of the algorithm with different reinforcement learning tasks. OpenAI Gym is a common structure and many use them to the benchmark of their algorithm if it was designed to the gym environment. As in many other directions, the gym has an emphasis on the episodic setting meaning that the experience of the reinforcement learning agents can be broken down into episodes. In every episode, the agent starts from an initial state, which is a sampled entity uh, from the state space of, or observation space. The interaction with the environment is continued until the terminating event happens or successful completion of the environment is reached. This final state is a solution to the given environment, this means a collision-free commute. Worst cases are the collisions, leaving of the highway boundaries and lanes, and also the too slow commute is prohibited. The environment runs only on the CPU because there is no need and a reason for a GPU-based execution. We generated a basic setup with two kilometer long three-lane highway. For the future trainings, it can be easily extended. During the simulation, new vehicles enter the road with a randomized position different initial and desired speed, and most importantly, with different maturity and driving skills. The Ego vehicle is chosen from the existing vehicles randomly. As the Ego is controlled, it does not apply the car following model, has no speed limit, and the control is fully given by the Python control script and the trust interface. The created basic setup has six different scenarios with six different limitations of maximum speed, different density and type of surrounding vehicles. On the table, there is an example. Sumo 
does not support lateral model and visualization of the environment, a lateral inner state representation was implemented that simulates vehicle dynamic simultaneously with the sumo. This results in a continuous model of the eco device. It can be controlled real time with speed and steering angle change commands. For the lateral model of the project, the Python control library was used. The most simplified dynamic model is the two degree of freedom bicycle model. The model gets the steering angle and the velocity difference as an input and with the help of the response function returns the state of the vehicle. The state of the vehicle consists of the XY position, the heading, the velocity in the direction of the heading uh, for every DT time step. Apart from the dynamic state of the ego vehicle, the model also calculates the lane ID at any given time step needed for the sumo solution. While sumo checks for collisions in an uninterrupted system, we implemented functions to check, check for collision with surrounding vehicles in the lateral state from all sides of the ego vehicle. Next, we will present the comparison between the sumo-generated environment and the gym environment state. On the upper video, it can be noted that the sumo representation switches between lanes without transition, and in our gym representation in the figure below, however, the vehicle can be seen moving continuously between the lanes. There are some improvement possibilities for our project that could greatly improve its value. First, extending the model for a full 3 degree of freedom vehicle model with tire slip simulation for more precise positioning would be beneficial. Secondly, adding support for curvy roads regarding the lane ID calculations would make it compatible with all kinds of road segments. Thank you for your attention.